Guys, here he is. S fan the priest. Chad, I've re-rolled. But man, I, look, listen, I'm level one. I'm so far behind. I mean, I really, I, I really gotta speed this up. Like if I'm trying to level fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a technique to tag all of these, okay? At level one, you move faster than them, okay? So I'm just going to kite them in a circle and wait until somebody else in comes kills them. Because you see, I move approximately 10% faster. That's the plan. See that? Boom. Just like that. And then, look, I just keep going in a circle. Somebody else is going to come kill them. And then my XP is just going to tick like crazy. I promise. I promise. I promise. That's surely going to happen. And if, look, listen, I could even get a little bit of distance. And any second now, somebody's going to come kill them all. And then I'll just get all the XP. Okay, it's called mob tagging. Any second now, somebody who's higher level is going to probably kill them. Man, let me tell you, 2,000 years ago, a man was sent to Azeroth to die for Blizzard's sins. That man took on the burden of the people of Azeroth. All the evil, all the wrong, all the bad in the world was upon his shoulders and he was the sacrificial lamb. His soul of iron was tainted. But three days later, he rose again. Clear of the tainted soul. He rose again. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna continue the paladin. This is basically what I decided. Because I wanted to re-roll priest, but the reality of it is, I kind of wanted to play priest because I was like, I want to mind control people, this and that, but like, and it'd be kind of funny for some things, but I think this is the last time I'm playing vanilla, whatever. One, I actually, I'm gonna like kind of try hard it to, to try and get to level 60 without dying. I don't think I'm gonna do it for real. It's gonna be really hard to get to 60 without dying once, but that's what I do. I play Paladin, that's, that's my class. I know it like the back of my hand. And I think that's what a lot of people want to see too. I did the bit and I threw because I wanted to do that, but then I, I pretty much got cold feet like 30 minutes right after I did it. So, that's why we're gonna go ahead and keep going with the Paladin today because of, I mean, Season of Mastery is still going on. I still wanna do a little bit of this and just kinda like clarify and get to a point of like, okay, we're hard committing sticking to this. No, this is just what I, I think, I think this is just better. I, I, I thought, I, I, I mean, I still think it was funny as shit, but in hindsight, I was like, yeah, maybe I, maybe I don't wanna play Priest and I, and I just wanna play Paladin. Cause here's the reality of it. I can do whatever I want and I will do whatever I want. My Lord Esvin, is it really you? Tis I. I bear the mark upon my chest of the Rat Paladin. The death was a mere ploy to distract our enemies. Wait, why is your name Strap On? Oh, Stepoon. Please form a line for sex cult spamming. We are not a sex cult. I do not pretend to fully grasp their motivations. There is no reward for a life of such hardship. Perhaps that is what makes them so fascinating and so admirable. Are you one of the soul of iron? I am. Ah, yes. Mail for the king of veterans gloves. Thank you, Spritz. Thank you. Thank you very much, Spritz. Gloves fit for a king. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically what happened is I wanted to re-roll in a funny way, do a bit, but then I kind of got cold feet afterwards. And I think really at the end of the day, like that's just what I want to do is I, I want to play a paladin. I like playing paladin. That's kind of my class. It just is what it is, you know? A weapon fit for a king? My king, it is I, crafter of the great axe of Pepega. As you grow in strength and power, I believe you deserve equipment that is fit for the strength as our one true king. I present to you the sword of Pepega. May it serve you well. 
P.S. I have included extra ret coin, so you may train the ability to wield the sword like a true king. Ah, yes. Thank you, Pepega. Thank you very much. Very good. Most excellent. Mighty Pepega. May the light shine upon your path. Okay, so we're gonna pick up engineering. Seeing you. Engineering and first aid. Oh, frick! Hey, by the way, if you guys wanna join the guild, this is like a viewer kind of community thing. If anybody wants to join the guild, right now it's open invites. Anybody can invite anybody into Elysium. We're playing on Obsidian Edge. So anybody can play. Why don't you try to hit 60 fast? Cause that's, that's just not what I'm doing. I, I can't, I, I literally don't have the time. I host like four different shows. Well, three different shows on Twitch every single week. Like it's just different, right? Like I, I don't play the game like that anymore. Guild is legit, lots of great people in it. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like it's it's like our community, right? So it's just fun. And then and then people can use the Discord, join the Discord. And, and, and there's a, uh, so in the Discord, there's a welcome channel in the Discord, you can just click this right here and it gives you access once you click this to the guild channels. So it doesn't like dirty up the Discord. But you can go in here and you can talk to people. You guys can, there's different lobbies if you guys want to make groups and stuff. But yeah, just join the Discord and you can click that and then uh, you can go do that. So, okay. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm going around, I'm kind of running some errands. Getting my heavy linen bandage training, so now I can make heavy linen bandages. So I need linen cloth to do that. Mm. Where is the, uh, where's the miner? Oh, there he is. Deep Mountain Mining Guild. Did you go back to 10? Yeah, I got to level 10 in like two hours. I, I uh, we ran around, we, we boosted it a little bit, so. We just, we just ripped right through it. Oh yeah, I don't have the thing on, that's fine. <clears throat> Talk to me. Okay, mining trainer, I got the mining supplies. 